definitely going to come on as if they come on in the off season. So yeah, with, come on off season. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we you know come on to the people that love you. You know, who, who support you. Okay. You know, Derek Fisher. Hey, you know, I'm not a Laker hater. I'm not even a Kobe hater. I'm just not a big Kobe fan. Which no, I understand. I, Derek is still my but, man. I and Andrew and right. Paul Gasol. I said to me, right. he's the man. Right. Yeah, no, I agree with you because the part that I I like about this is that, you know, you, we're talking about a subject where the the man that people focused on more in the last year as it relates to where he should be is LeBron James. The person that people love to hate as much as they love was Kobe Bryant. But the person the person who's taking over the mantle this year is LeBron James and everybody says, out of the games that you can't wait to see, Heat Lakers, Heat Celtics, Heat Orlando, Houston LA, Cleveland Heat. Which game are you looking forward to seeing? Because man, it's changing all the time. Oh yeah, I know. that was changing. Yeah, Can I get it. And I got one more question for you too. Right. A prediction from you about the role of Ron Artest this coming year? I think Ron Artest, his role is. You can see the aging. I about to see. I, about I to see say, the aging. See I'm that. saying that's for well, that's a reason. That's why I asked you. Right. And Ron Artest still made me a fan this year. No, I got, like. Did you? Everybody liked the way he he conducted his stuff. Yes. Kept kept his head on yes. focus. Yeah. Give Ron a, everybody to give Ron a break. Give Ron some hands. Oh yeah. Land oh yeah. For what he did as a <laughs> right. Hey, look. Ron Artest, come on. And, and when I mean Heads aging, up. when I mean aging, I don't mean he's getting slower. What I mean is he's this: mellower. you get you he's age mellower. you <laughs> age when you have to learn how to play the triangle because it's a mental thing more than it is you just going up there and playing a role. When you're the hot stuff in Houston where he was like the second, third man because Tracy wasn't active lately and Yao is probably gone and threatening retirement because they think his injury is going to go on through next year. So the part that Ron, I like what he has done is been able to transform his game. One, physically he's a presence. So even if he has diminished scoring skills, what he does is get take he sets the examples for those who want to play defense a certain way. So to me, he has a couple of years easy on a championship team because he's not it's like the Robin and Chicago Bulls effect. What did he say? When I was in Detroit, I was like the focus. When I came to Chicago, I had Pippen, Jordan, all these other cats. They took away the life from me so I could do what I could do. And I think Ron Artest is going to definitely be a force. The man I'm looking forward to step up to be like Ron Artest in an offensive way is Lamar Odom, but we'll leave that for the Kardashians. Oh, that's not going to happen. All right, that's okay. That's not going to happen like that. <laughs> no, I like Omar. Uh, Omar. <laughs> that's his brother. It's Lamar and Omar. It's like the KKK. Hey. You don't know, need the new KKK. Wait a minute. I, they may be hip to this on the internet. The KKK is Kim, Courtney, and Chloe. All right. <laughs> it's the Kardashian. Look, look, we talk about Lamar because we still all That's say funny. he hasn't shown, although we believe he has, his heart is in it, the, the, the Lamar Odom that even Phil Jackson says he hasn't hit that nut yet. Don't say nothing, Mario. Don't he go there. He sleeps with a Kardashian. Hey, don't say nothing. Mario. That makes you soft. So All it's right. like sleeping on those high thread count sheets. Let's, you need to have it rough. He ain't have it rough. Sorry, it's, soft too, it's too smooth. Min I don't blame him. I be minor effect. I'm just be Kardashian. Leave out the room, man. No. All right, here, here we I go. I want a cousin still, Vic. This move, <laughs> I question on LeBron James. Okay. He thanks the fans in Akron because it's his hometown, which he can do. Here's my question. And just follow me on this. How long has it been since the heat announcement of where he's choosing to go? Is that how many weeks has it been? About three weeks or a month. Is this timely to go and thank buy an ad? He has an ad because he has to come back into Akron for some other reasons. It's his hometown. Is this ad a sentimental ad, a marketing strategy ad, or is it just an ad that? And here's another caveat to it: it follows up an ad by a former Cavalier player who did it before he did. Cool. So, Elgaskis, Zadrunas, Zadrunas, Elgaskis. Oh, so everybody who goes to Miami <laughs> takes out an ad. Well, what I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's. Well, okay, go on. So no, no. My 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 point is this: they're all jumping on this, saying you're thanking the Akron community, yeah, yeah, not acknowledging Cleveland, but then on top of that, it's an ad that you pulled in there. But Elgaskis did an ad two days before you. So is, now, what does it look like? Man, you know what? You can't do no right. You too poor, LeBron. You do an ad, you what? wrong. You don't do an ad, you ignoring us. Right. See, he can, no matter what way he does it, I agree. They gonna flip it. Right. So no, I like LeBron. I think he does whatever. So, okay. 
to the people who are bitter and angry, you're not going to change them anyway. Right. F them. Right. Okay. Now, so that's why I'm serious. Right. If you that if you that bad if you that much involved, you need to get a life. I okay? agree. Now, second, uh, I think you're going to do the things that you do. That's your community. You know, you send express yourself as you see fit, recognizing no matter what that they're not going to be behind you. Right. The other thing is that. People are constantly questioning the public relations strategies. and But here's the thing, Vic. Mm. The criteria they use to assess them, I'm not sure. For example, even though I didn't like the way that whole a lot announcement of thing was. Yeah, I know. I bet it made him a bunch of money. Well, so yeah. if it did, was it successful? See, I go, what's success? You need to define success. Right. If if In a minute, it'll be forgotten, first of all. Of course. So if he makes a bunch of money, then it's forgotten. I don't know if that means it was successful or not. To me, probably it was. In other words, it depends what we wanted from it. It was boring as hell to me. Right. But it still got everybody in watching it. People I know rushed home to watch it. Everybody tuned it in. It just was a dud. But that's no different than Geraldo opening up uh, the Titanic thing. You know, whatever, whatever. the tomb the, of, uh, what's his name? You know, uh, what, It was empty, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was empty. Al Capone's right. tomb or whatever. Whatever, yeah. I'm just saying, so it was that. But I don't know if it was unsuccessful. Let me just say this. I judge most of these things by what has been revealed to me by the person. Right. LeBron James has shown over and over at least what category of person he is. You certainly know the things he hasn't fell for, you know, prayed to in an obvious way. Right. And because of that, I celebrate him still to this, with all of these changes. Right. I still celebrate him and what he does because to me, he's already proven to be that model. And he's adopted it and embraced it. And that's a struggle. Well, you know, look, Mario, to me, it, it, I go like this. When you can get this much attention on your job because you work for somebody and people take an interest in what you do to create the firestorm so that way it brands you in such a way. Think of all of us who would love to say, somebody put an ad out in the paper when I got laid off of my job so everybody can chime in to make me more popular. I absolutely have no problem with what he's done. Okay, strategy aside, I'm not worried about that. The part that this is is a Cleveland issue more than anybody else. Right. And so I don't sweat it because Cleveland has a history of teams abandoning them. Jim Brown quits early in his 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 at his peak of his career. Yeah. They got the, uh, the the team, the Baltimore Ravens, who snuck out after midnight. Yeah. The Art Modell. Leaves. Yeah. Okay. Now you got LeBron. Where is your hope for the next round? You have no hope. You're in Cleveland. <laughs> Where the hell do you want? If you want hope, move to Cincinnati. <laughs> so did, wait a minute. So let <laughs> no, me. Fair, I'm just kidding. Wait now. Nah. But you know, you know, the people from the area are the ones who talk about Cleveland the worst. Right. You know, Chad. Right. But, Chad cracking Ocho. <laughs> I'm saying, you guys, listen. That's the Cleveland. Let me just say this. Everybody loves the people in Cleveland. Right. It just ain't much to do like you normally want. It, Okay, and it's cold. It's bitterly cold. I mean, do you feel for got, the people? You look up the word cold, the word cold right. and they have Cleveland, Chicago, right, right there. Do you feel for the fans in Cleveland, man? No, they're used to cold. No, no, for not having a franchise or a winning organization. No, I don't care. You don't care about them. No, look at we here in Los Angeles. We pride ourselves <laughs> on not having a NFL franchise. But because we because have, we are L A. Right. We don't even need one. Wait. We're, at Cleveland. Right. Neither do you. Right. You have those wonderful micro brews and some great hot dogs. Right. You go to Cleveland. You eat pizza, hot dogs. You get the micro brews. Right. You get with the lovely people in Cleveland. Right. Because they got some lovely folks. It's just cold. Don't go in the winter. Yeah. Well, see. Let just me just go let me let me help you with something here because unfortunately your comparison to the football has uh, is a little watered down. Let me tell you why. In the last 12 or 13 years, let's see.